Hello, and welcome to another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. My name is Mindy, and today we're going to be talking about the hole table. The hole table shows the location and size of all holes on either a face or multiple faces based on a selected datum. To create a hole table, first start your drawing and insert your part that contains holes. Then you're going to go to the Annotations tab, Tables, and select Hole Table. This will open up the Hole Table properties. Uh, it should pull in the standard template. Um, the next section is whether or not you can attach it to an anchor point. I do not have an anchor point set in my drawing, so this is not an option. Next, you can tell how you want to label your holes. You can either have alpha or numeric control. Then we're going to select our datum. So it's looking for kind of an origin, and then you can choose which direction the x and the y axis is going. So our origin, we're going to choose this corner of our part. You can see it throws in the x and y. If this is good, then you don't have to fill out either of these boxes. If you wanted to flip them, then you could select an edge to create the X. We'll flip that back. Next, it is looking for which face the holes are located on. So we'll go ahead and we'll pick that face. We can now modify the border if we want, or put it on a different layer if we wanted to. At the bottom is a button for the next view. What this allows us to do is to select another view and kind of continue on with the whole table. So we'll click this button. You can see it kind of clears everything out. But now we can go ahead and choose an origin on a different view. And then we can select a face for that view as well. When we click our green check, it creates our table. Um, I just have to place it, so I'll pop it down there. Uh, one thing I want to show you is if you don't like the location of your uh, X, Y arrows, you can pick those up and move them. So you can move them kind of wherever you want. Also know that if you flip to what side of your edge they go, it will modify whether your dimensions are positive or negative. If you want to change properties of your whole table, come up here until you see the crosshairs and select that. It'll open up the properties. Uh, you can select what stationary corner you want if you wanted to do that. Uh, this is for your attach point, which we don't have, so it's not really going to change. Uh, you could then modify kind of your alphanumeric uh, codes if you wanted. The scheme allows you to either combine the same name tags or if you wanted to combine same sizes just to kind of clean up your table. Um, and then you can also, uh, you know, change your visibility if you wanted. Uh, maybe you wanted to modify your whole precision here. So let's see, it changes. And again, the border and the layer. Uh, there's also more properties uh, in your options, so if we come up to our options, we're going to go to document properties, so this is per document. We can go to whole tables and then whole, and here we can create some changes for this document as well. I hope you enjoyed another CAD Dimensions tech tip. We hope you tune in next time. Don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and our blog for more great content by clicking on the links in the description below.